is up everyone glad you could join us today yep. we have one more week till musky season is here one wow. week it's coming really yeah. soon and lee and i are not organized whatsoever you guys know yeah. this for a fact yep. you've seen the bait piles in the boat yeah uh no excuses this year we have lakewood tackle boxes that is going to make our life a little bit better um, finding lures and everything organizing whatever <laughs> we want to show you those but yep. before we do that Let's pile everything into your boat, yep, Robbie, and get this going. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. This is we got we got a little work to do. Yeah, here, we folks. brought uh, quite a bit of boxes, quite a bit of baits. All this needs to get organized today, this afternoon. Yeah, let's go do that. Okay. The first Boom. one we want to show you is new for 2019, the Lakewood Magnum. The Magnum, that's all it's called. Uh, Musky Shop has them. Uh, what is different about these, Lee? Well, as a matter of fact, Robbie, I'm going to show you. You're going to open it up. And I'm going to show all you folks. Check this out. <laughs> boom, boom. Dual zippers. Yeah. Where do we put our musky baits very often? Uh, we're on the go a lot. Boom. And uh, yeah, 3,700 size, 3,700, the deep boxes. It'll fit four of those. Um, that, Boom, the deep ones. Yeah, I mean, last year I was running around with uh, two planos that I would try to fit a lot, a lot of baits in. Uh, wreck, wrecking my rubber baits uh, was not good in a backpack. This year, this is gonna be my go-to travel box. Um, yeah, four planos, that should fit about everything. And then, if you have the thinner ones, the 3700s, I think these are the 3730s. Yeah, or deep ones. They also make the open planos, like that style. The tools, whatever. Boom, you can put that. Do um, you got a, a skinny one handy? Here, I got yeah. one right here. And this is a great little tip here. This is actually one of the regular 3700s. I've got, this is my spare hook box, okay? Perfect. So if you had one of these and another skinnier one, like for small husky jerks, for poly baits, boom, little, little baits, you can fit two of those in there and you're set. You got a whole box set uh, for musky fishing. Uh, also cool, it's got two pouches, big pouches on each side. This side's got boom. the smaller pouch, boom, zippered, fully zippered, of course. Yep. Like that. Like you said, the big one on this side. Fit your pliers, cutters. Release gloves, everything to fit in this box. So pretty excited about it. This is definitely going to be. This is probably the coolest box of the only box of this type, yep, really, yep. of this nature. Um, and it's cool to have the drawer system as well. Uh, what's neat about that is you're they're not all on top yeah, of each not, other. Not sitting like this. Not sitting like that. They'll be laying flat. And they're free to move like that yep. instead of you know they're not stacking on you know weighing down on each other. The so. other thing about this box too, check this out. I don't think it's designed really to do this, but you can lay it down like that. Yeah. I mean, that way, boom, you can just open it up and you know, it's whatever way you want to put it. Right, very versatile. Um, if you guys are wondering, yes, we did get the two missing Plano boxes back, Ooh. which will be in one of these coming up here shortly. <laughs> <laughs> There's some money yeah. baits in here, so yeah. yeah. That's what's new for 2019 for Lakewood. Well, one of the things. Um, the Magnum. The Magnum. Check it out. Musky Shop has them. What else do we got here, Robbie? Uh, let's move on. Well, let's check out the box that we took down to uh, on the Southern Musky yeah. Tour. Boom. There we have it. The Musky Junior, the ultimate travel uh, musky box. For those of you that do not own a musky box, maybe you want to get your own, yep. this is the gr a great way to start, yeah. for sure. This is the box that we brought down mm -hmm. south and we fit pretty much all the baits we needed right on that trip minus a couple a of couple, planos right, as right, well right but the cool thing about this is you can customize this box you see we have husky medusas in there uh 10 inch leviathans big baits can fit in this little box because all of the different uh slides are interchangeable Slides, doors, what, what would you call them? Uh, adjustable dividers. Adjust <laughs> dividers. <laughs> dividers, yeah, I, I, I didn't find the word there, but. That's a new new deal from Lakewood, is yep. the adjustable dividers. So that is what comes in all the new uh, Lakewood boxes. So you can fit all sorts of different sizes of uh, baits in a small box like this. Um, you, want, yeah. you want one of those? I like these. <laughs> Little boiler makers are fun. Um, 
Also, <laughs> it's got the pouches like all the other um, boxes. Tools, gloves, what else can you put You can put your, your hook sharpener in the oh, front yeah. here. Your, like that, there's a hook sharpener yeah, right there. Yeah. Uh, your your pliers, your uh, hook outs, Everything. whatever. Pretty awesome box that, uh, yeah. And let me add too about all liquid products. They are all made in the U.S. They are made in Swamica, Wisconsin. Mm -hmm. So that's very cool. Local here in Wisconsin, so that's always good. All these have the dual handles like that. You can hold it like that or put it on your shoulder. It's your new musky uh, <laughs> briefcase. Briefcase. Musky box briefcase. I, I like it. I like it. So we got multiple different options yep. for transporting. That is the junior musky. All right, here we go. We have got the musky medium. The musky medium. Uh, this box will be perfect for the guys that, you know, have boats the size of mine, 17 and a half foot boat, a little bit smaller than that or even bigger. Um, Good but, for medium sized yeah. lure collections. Yep. You know, there's, we'll show you the big one later, but uh, this is the cure all for musky boxes in general. Uh, they also have the dividers, uh, re, you know, the adjustable dividers. Yep, yep. What I'm trying to adjustable say. Adjustable dividers. And one other cool thing that Lakewood has done now, let's say your favorite bait ends up in the bottom. How do you get that bait out? You got hooks everywhere. Yep. That's always been the struggle with these kind of boxes. Uh, we got a solution here. Check this out. We have got a lure retriever. Okay, so boom, just like that. Your lure is out. You can fish it right out of there. Yep. You don't have to grab another lure and yep. grab it and have a hard time pulling it out. So, all right. Definitely we've, nice. Yeah. We've got our boiler the maker. maker oh. spot, yeah. All right, so another feature on the musky mediums and the monster. Let's say you got some bucktails and you want to hang them vertically. They've got this angled little deal here along the edge of the box that you can just put it in just like that. And that'll keep your bait hanging nice and perfect and you can see your skirt color real easy and uh, just is a nice way to hang them. Uh, other guys I've seen as well are taking swim baits like this and they'll actually take a little piece of single strand wire and make a little hook that goes into here and you can hang all of your swim baits by the eyelet there'll be a little metal wire hook that you'll make separately and it'll hang your swim baits perfectly vertical and that way you know, your tails aren't getting bent and the baits stay true and run true. So that's another thing you could do with that angled um, hanger as well. Oh boy, one of the key features of most of the Lakewoods is you can stand them. You can use them as deck extensions. That's right guys, I got my sandals back, it's warm weather. So basically done with the musky medium. Going into the monster, uh, monster Lakewood box here. It's a lot bigger. There is a lot of baits you can fit in here. Uh, just like all of them, it's got the two pouches, adjustable dividers, and on all the Lakewood products here. You can fit your hook sharpeners, hook cutters, pliers, everything on these little holders. Uh, pretty convenient. Also, you got this giant pocket here on this other side. You can fit your extra leaders, uh, anything imaginable. You can, fit, you can fit an extra 3,700 in there with your spare hooks as well, um, smaller one. So yeah, pretty awesome boxes that can fit a lot of stuff. Lee and I need to get organized here and um, start putting some baits into these boxes. Oh yeah, we almost forgot. For those of you that have a bump seat in the front or back of your boat, uh, we have what they call the Pedestal Pal Senior. And what this thing does, it's got a hole in the bottom. So you pull out your bump seat, you shove this down in your bump seat, uh, receptacle and you shove your bump seat post boom right through the thing and then you can hang your baits all the way around nice close easy access to your favorite 10 baits or whatever for your lineup and here's a little tip right here do not I repeat do not hang your baits on the outside like this you are asking for trouble when you do this I wouldn't even do it to this point right there, because you eventually are gonna hook your leg on that. I know a lot of you guys out there are saying, yeah, but I do it. Well, just keep them inside, because who wants to go to the hospital with a hook in you when the fish are biting? All right, so we've got room for baits inside. Of course, we got room for tools, different size uh, 
pouches there. Even got, check this out, like a map holder or your license or whatever you want. As a matter of fact, this can double as a little day pack. You're jumping in with your buddy for an evening of uh, musky league or something like that. Boom, just grab your pedestal pal. You got your favorite 10 baits for the night. You're set to go. All right, let's get this party started. Okay. Yeah, let's get started, I guess. Holy crap. Good thing Robbie and I don't use a lot of baits. I think I'll try this. Here we have it. Through the miracle of time, we've been able to load up basically the majority of my hard baits into the Monster Lakewood. We've got a few boiler makers here on the ends using the uh, uh, sloped or angled uh, uh, hanger system there. We've got some jerk baits, some minnow baits. Um, we even have the perky chubby here. For any of you that remember that from down south, that thing is pretty sick. Um, let's see, smaller glide baits. We got a couple of Leviathans here, boom. And what's really nice about these adjustable dividers is we can actually fit a flap nine into the box. That was just not even a possibility before. So these things, uh, they don't like to go away uh, very easily. I know you want to get out there and fish, but no, you're getting tucked away for now. Uh, and of course, we've got topwaters and choppers and flap tails, fish sticks, tidal waves. This is basically topwater from here on over for the most part. And even believe it or not, in this box, we can fit at a slight angle the 14 inch Leviathan. Um, that's a lot of bait, but I'll often I'll throw that. But at any rate, we can maybe load some bucktails on that side too. But uh, there you have it. I mean, this is pretty much the hard bait selection. And like we said before, you can take these and they are deck extensions in your boat. Zip them up, boom, boom, boom. Got your tools, got all that. I mean, what else can you say? The Lakewood Monster is definitely a dope musky box. Robbie, let's see how you got the Magnum set up. Boom, four big deep 3700s fit into the magnum here. Uh, let's start off from the top here. We got some bucktails. Open her up here. Trilogies on top. Um, some really ugly looking bucktails here with no tinsel. Where's the good one? Oh, there's the good one. Um, that must, that bucktail particularly has caught a lot of muskie. Got mini boilers in here. Uh, some small, small blades. Uh, next one is the Angry Dragon Box. Got all sorts of sizes in here. Oh, I like this one. This one's new. This is a freshie. We've got like a walleye kind of. Is this clear, Cleopatra? I don't remember. Don't remember, but it's a pretty cool color. I think so. Got some hair, uh, the, the rubber skirted ones. Moving on. The awesome thing about having 3700s, this is one with no dividers. You can fit all your giant rubber. And here we got 12 inch Poseidon, Husky Medusas, all sorts of sizes. And um, yeah, that's what's really nice about this box is you can have that difference. Next box, just a little bit smaller rubber. So we're pretty much set here with the Monster and the Magnum. That was a lot of baits we had on the floor and uh, they're, all put to, they're all put away and we're ready to go fishing soon. And that is a wrap. Um, guys, all of the Lakewood products that we showed today we're gonna leave it all nicely listed with all their links to each and to every different box um, down below in yeah, the description. Check it out. You can see all the different details. Uh, Lakewood has some awesome. If you go on their actual website, they got some awesome tutorials on them as well. So, well, that at least gets us one yep. step closer to getting dialed in for the 2019 musky season. It's uh, coming. One more week. Wow. <laughs> one more week. What next? We got to start yep. working on some rods, reels, yep. line. Yep. Um, get on that stuff. Yeah. Comment below. What other um, tutorial videos would you like to see? Like what baits or reels that we're using, rods we're using. Comment Leader below. making. Yeah. That's probably a good one, right? Yep. Comment below what you guys want to see.
Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, hopefully some musky action coming soon.